You had to know, right? One more outdoor furniture build. This time, I'm gonna show you how to build your own couch. Next, on Home Pro Hero. This build should be super easy. It's a Wednesday night, just get off work. I'm gonna try and knock this thing out in a couple hours, maybe less. All I'm doing is copying the chair that I built. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link at the top. Okay, let's talk about what we need for this project. Tools, real simple. Miter saw's perfect for it, but a circular saw and a speed square would work fine. I need a compact uh, driver or a drill. Uh, liquid nails, standard liquid nails is an adhesive. Tape, pencil. I got some GRK trim head screws, two and a half inch long, number eights. And I got a caulk gun. That's pretty much all you need for this project. It's the same tools I used when I built this chair over here. It's gonna match my end tables and my coffee tables that I've recently built. If you haven't seen any of these builds, take a look at the top here. I'll put a link up there for my playlist. Let's cut four legs at 19 and three quarters. The armrests at 33 and a quarter. I like to double check these measurements because I'm building two identical size. So I always double check it. So I've got the legs cut. I'm gonna go ahead and put those together now. If you haven't had a chance, take a look at this garden candle. It's pretty cool. I'll put a link at the top. So the hardest part of this whole build is the angle piece here. It's a five, uh, five degree angle on both sides. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see it on the commander chair here. It's uh, 30 and a half inches from this point to the small point over there. Okay, I've got the front seat board on. It's two by six material. It matches the side uh, stringers. Now I'm gonna cut the two by fours to go in between. Uh, it's six foot, just like the front board. Okay, next day, I'm back at it. I picked up some more screws, recharged right after work. It's a beautiful day. So the length of the couch, the middle pieces in the couch are six foot long, 72 inches. I already got the front two by six cut at six, six foot. The back two by four, which is one of the slats is six foot. So I just need three more six footers, two by four material.
Okay, I purposely ran these long. That way, they'll stick in there while I get the screws in the side. I do want to use some liquid nails here. I am going to have to add a center support. Yeah, six foot's too far for a two by four sitting flat like that. If I was on edge like that, it'd probably be fine, but I am going to run a hidden leg in the middle of that. Just kind of stiffen up the middle. And if you got three people on there, you figure three people my size, you're talking a lot of weight. Uh, with three average size people, you're probably talking 600 pounds, maybe 500 pounds. So I want to make sure it's strong enough. So I'm going to go ahead and liquid nail that and screw that support in place, and I'll center those other two in the middle here. Nothing worse than running short on wood. Let's cut these two pieces real quick. Super cold and windy. So hopefully the video is coming out all right. But I've got the fake legs in there. They should be fine. I wish I could have tied them all together, but I'm not going to worry about it. I could if I wanted to, but I'm not going to mess with it. I'm done with it. Um, things built like a tank, just like the commander chair. Just got to sand it. I'm going to get that couch inside the screen in porch, get the tools put away, and uh, wait for the cushions to come. Looky here, finally FedEx delivered my boxes. DIY outdoor couch cost. I got 300 dollars in cushions and pillows. I got about $110 in lumber and materials for a total of 410. Not bad for an outdoor couch that will probably last forever. Just like that, I'm done building furniture for the year. Hope you liked it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Help the channel out.